A Santa Barbara-based nonprofit is planning to transform an old oil rig into a Santa Barbara County eco monument. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab joins us live from Goleta to explain. Mina. The nonprofit is called America's Green Corps, and they're working on what they call a green lighthouse monument. They are transforming a non operational oil rig called Platform Holly. Experts like founder of America's Green Corps, Ryan Davis, say an estimated two tons of marine biology lives off the coast of Goleta around Platform Holly. If we remove the platform, unfortunately, all of that marine biology will go away. That's why Davis wants to repurpose the platform into a lighthouse and research hub instead of removing it. He's fighting to stop the dismantling of Platform Holly by offering a solution he says is not only eco-friendly, but also economically friendly. Our project will not only be able to help us uh, show how we can generate renewable energy from this site, but also mutually support aquaculture research and maybe even one day be able to generate a food source from one of these recycled structures. This site would be powered by the sun, wind and sea. We can feed that energy back into the grid and we think this is a great way to show how we can continue to move forward with California's goals of transitioning to 100% renewable energy. Slowly but surely, Ryan is garnering support from locals and nature lovers like Ian Stewart. Rather than dismantle it or leave it there, to use it for something that's ecologically friendly, is, is only I can only see it as a good thing. It's an eco-monument, so it's a chance for people to come out of the bubble and to actually go and visit this monument as it gets built uh, and get a workout in and get outside and enjoy the outdoors and also enjoy the beaches. America's Green Corps plans to spread the word about this project by hosting an art and science exhibit in December. Right now, the nonprofit organization is looking to fundraise $15,000 by December. Live in Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. All right, really interesting. Thanks for that, Mina.